to the adventure on Pumlet on W four C Y Radio. Wake up, America! It's time for the adventures of Pipe Man on W4CY.com, West Palm Beach's number one internet radio station. Here's your host, the Pipe Man. This is the Pipe Man here on the Adventures Pipe Man W4CY Radio, and I am here with our next guest, who is an amazing musician with an amazing story, and we're about to hear it. So let's welcome to the show Leslie Mandoki of Mandoki Soulmates. How are you? Oh, thank you so much for having me. It's just starting the year and, you know, I uh, uh, came into the studio uh, just a little bit slower uh, the last couple of days. But today is the radical intensity of the musician of life is just starting. So uh, uh, we are fine. And how are you over there? Oh, we're doing great. You know, uh, music has been back a little bit. So that is definitely a great thing for sure. Uh Live music, you know, there's one thing I saw, I was watching one of your videos, and I talk about it all the time, and I couldn't agree more, but uh, you were talking about music is the greatest unifier, and that is so me, because it's so true. It, it, it Like, you could go to a show, and it doesn't matter our differences uh, or anything, people just to get together for the love of music it's wonderful you know and especially right now because this covid this this pandemic is a kind of test of character you know for individuals for families for uh, teams and for companies um, but also for music groups you know this is like a magnifying glass uh, uh, over us um, on our society and we are just all feel that we're kind of in a divided society we're living in a gap and um, we are all in our comfort zone, you know. We are in our echo chambers and uh, and and our bubbles, you know, in our social media. So we read our own opinion, uh, just said by someone else. So um, herefore, I think uh, music, since Woodstock, we learned a lesson that music can build bridges. And exactly the way you were describing, one music is the greatest unifier, and that's why we entitled our online concert, but we played. Uh, almost a year ago in uh, March last year. Hey, this is the uh, uh, music what we would like to give us an answer on a global crisis, as a global answer, musical answer. So that's why uh, it's for us so uh, important not to say what the world needs right now is, is the greatest unifier, so music, and we need an utopia for realists. And that's why the title of our uh, first American release is Utopia for Realists. I love it. I love it. Not only do I love the music, but I just love the whole concept. And, it's, you know, it's interesting. You brought up Woodstock. Let's pay some homage right now. Just recently, Michael Lang, uh, you know, left this world. And uh, he did, certainly did leave an impact on the world because I think Woodstock changed things forever. Absolutely. So my, Michael Gorbachev, the former president of the Soviet Union, uh, was telling me as he was sitting in my studios here by the Lake Starnberg, he was telling me that, you know, since Woodstock, we knew on the east side of the Iron Curtain that music is the, is the greatest weapon of freedom. And consequently, it was the greatest enemy for the communists, because uh, especially prog rock. So geniuses like um, Ian Anderson of Chattertal, just to give you a personal example, of my, my dearest friends, they were just the, the heroes against a dictatorship, against communism. And so music is the, rock music or prog rock is the soundtrack of freedom. And uh, being someone who was born and raised behind the Iron Curtain, I know too well what uh, American and British uh, rock music was 
uh, doing as I was a young teenager. It was the soundtrack of the freedom, influencing us in a, in a very, very positive way. And of course, we couldn't get, get a record like this, you know, no record shops and everything was forbidden, but was coming from America or the United Kingdom. But uh, we loved it so much. So I, I was, a, as I was 16, I was a proud owner of a fourth generation uh, tape copy of an uh, Aqualung album of Chet Rotal, you know. So, so this was the way how, how freedom came to the eastern part of Europe uh, through the music. I love it. I love it. And, you know, it, it's funny because something else just happened to me recently. You know, you're talking about Jethro Tull, and I just saw some things, like a documentary or something. I never knew that for a short stint, Tony Iommi of Black Sabbath was in Jethro Tull before he was Black Sabbath. Yeah, 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 of course. I, I know that's a wonderful story. Right? Uh, it's a great story. And, you know, uh, it's this, uh, to, to make, make it more even more transparent how much I uh, really mean it, how deep is this feeling there about freedom and rock music. As I escaped communism uh, through a tunnel, actually, uh, uh, and I became a refugee, I, and I came to the central camp of, for, for refugees, in uh, Central Europe, so in Germany. The American resettlement officer was asking me, hey, boy, I understand that you wanted to escape communists, but what the hell are you going to do here now in the free West, in the free world? And, and next to me was sitting Gabo Chipo, the young cartoonist who escaped with me together from Hungary. And I said, yeah, well, I would like to play with Jack Bruce of Cream and Aldi Mola of Return to Forever and uh, Ian Anderson of Chet Rotel. And uh, the American officer was looking at me and said, you must be total crazy. And I said, yeah, but I would like to, you know, kind of melt together uh, British prog rock and American jazz rock and, and to make real new rock music. And then uh, he said, because he was so, sort of surprised by that statement, and he asked Gabor Chupo, I said, and, and young boy, you are a cartoonist, you are, uh, I mean, uh, animator, so what would you like to do in a... Uh, and he said, yeah, I would like to found a, a, in Hollywood a cartoon studio. So he did it. His first uh, worldwide success was Simpsons. And then uh, uh, Duckman and Real Monsters and Rugrats was maybe one of the most known uh, work of Gower as a cartoonist. And so, and actually, 30 years ago, Ian Anderson of Chattertal and Jack Bruce of Cream and Ali Maola were the founding members of the Manduki group. Wow. What an amazing so, story. And, and and to just to uh, uh, go back a little bit to Woodstock, as uh, about 18 years ago, I uh, uh, Peter Frampton was on guitar in the band, uh, the Manduki Soulmates band, and and the Greg Lake played the second guitar, Jack Bruce played bass, and and John Lord of the Purple played the Hammond, Manfred Mann and uh, the synthesizer, uh, and Chris Thompson and Bobby Kimball and Ian Anderson were singing, and Ian was obviously playing also flute. So, uh, and they, I played the drums. Uh, we made a good, huge TV show, 12 million people saw it in Germany. And uh, the boss of the network, a TV network, called me a week before the show. And he said, Leslie, are you sure that you have everything what you need? Is, is the first time ever that a big rock show is going to take place in a Saturday night show? And he was just, asking me that maybe I would like to even have a bigger name. I said, no, 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 no. I said, uh, Peter Frampton on guitar and, and John Lord and, and Hammond and Ian Anderson, it's everything fine. And then uh, his, and then he was ab about repeating this question five times. And I said, okay, fine. You know what? We are going to invite Mihai Sagevich Gorbachev, the former president of the Soviet Union. And imagine Gorbachev came and he was standing on our stage in the middle of the show and said, rock music turned down the wall. Can you imagine how the people were yelling, screaming, and a standing ovation? So uh, music has a, has a meaning, and that's why our new music is utopia for realists, because that's what the world needs now, to, be, to have a new idea, how we unify again everybody, because uh, we are living in a divided society, and, and music can unify a lot of things. And that's what we need right now after this uh, horrible, challenging times of the COVID and hopefully be getting out of it now. And um, here in Europe, we are not back on stage yet. Um, that's why we did this online concert last year. And now that's why we upcoming Saturday. Uh, um, and uh, we are going to do it again on YouTube and online a performance because the only big concert we could play last year, it was in August in Budapest. And we, of course, we videotaped that and, uh, and recorded it perfectly. And that's what we'd like to offer to our fans 
uh, and then it's going to be three o'clock uh, uh, at the afternoon, so p.m. and New York time, East Coast time, and West Coast is going to be uh, just noon, so 12 a.m. So uh, and and we are going to welcome everybody on our Mandugi Somes channel on YouTube, and and we're gonna be all everybody, all of us are going to Zoom meeting there and and we talk about the new year and much we were missing our audience now for two years and and how much our creativity is propelled by uh, and inspired by our fans who are coming to a concert worldwide and and so how how, how meaningful it is for us musicians that uh, you are allowing me into your life, and you are in my life, and it comes to the audience, and this is it's just so radically substantial for us to have a hang with our audience. That's why we are going to uh, at least now um, trying to meet our audience uh, via YouTube and uh, and to, to keep keep touch and touch base. And definitely, I think people should definitely go to your YouTube channel and subscribe, Mandoki Soulmates, and and check this out because. I checked out some of the show and I checked out a bunch of your videos and I love the complete artistry of it. You know, see, that's to me, you know, musicians are artists and there's various forms of their art and you put it all together. It's not just the music. It's also the, you know, the artistry uh, and the visual aspect and everything that goes along with it and i like am just so entertained watching your videos thank you so much it's very kind of yours we are trying to fulfill a holistic approach that this is audio visual uh in in many ways that's why we are also releasing this utopia for real it's not only on CD and all the uh, the digital services streaming services but also as a visual album because this is so important for me to, to show our audience the way how we are do, uh, working in the studio together, our shows, and of course, uh, these great animations by Gabor uh, Chupo uh, from Los Angeles, you know, to combine with our music. And that's what we did as a teenager, and that's what we're still doing. And uh, wonderful, this visual combination. And that's why I'm so proud, actually, that finally, after so many golden records in uh, mainland Europe, now we are uh, touching down in, in the USA because from my very point of view, who's writing this whole is a very American music. Thank you so much for, for, for reflecting this, that uh, there's actually an audiovisual piece of art. Why don't you tell everybody how they can also connect to you guys on social media, on, on your website, and get all of your you know merch and information, music, and all that good stuff. Well, um, it's whenever you look up to Manduki Soulmates, uh, this is, uh, you know, wh wherever you go and uh, Insta or Instagram or Facebook or YouTube. So you will always or, or one of your favorite digital services uh, it says everything is under Manduki, M-E-N-D-O-K-I and then Soulmates. Uh, so you will find uh, us everywhere. Our label is Inside Out music uh, and distributed by Sony and um, find us easily and uh, everywhere in the digital world. And so just look up uh, Mandugi Soulmates and, uh, and you will find us everywhere. Beautiful. I, I love your music. I love your artistry. Love your story. People have to check out more about your story. I mean, it's just amazing that you came from communism, went through a tunnel and then made this amazing music with some of the greatest artists of our time. So thank you for that. Thank you for giving us Utopia for Realists, and thank you for being on the Adventures of Pipe Man. Oh, thank you so much, and uh, uh, thank you for uh, being in my life in this way, and uh, thank you for allowing me into yours. Uh, so um, the song maybe that I would like to suggest in this time of the year, from the this is the very last song of Utopia for Realists, it's called The Torch, um, because this is something where uh, generation uh, to generations are, are is the torch, and this should be the light at the end of the COVID tunnel. They should be uh, so bright, it should shine as bright as possible that we are out of this COVID tunnel. I love it. I love everything you stand for. Love your music. Thank you so much. And I look forward to seeing a lot more from you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for listening to the Adventures of Pipe Man on W4CY Radio.